Prior to beginning the sterile procedure, the brachial plexus is located using ultrasound. To quickly locate the brachial plexus, identify the subclavian artery and move the transducer superiorly along the interscalene groove. At the cricoid level, the nerves appear in cross-section as a string of beads between the scalenus antigus and the scalenus medius muscles. Continue superiorly and the trunks will separate out into component nerve roots. Move the ultrasound transducer laterally or medially so the neural structures are positioned in the middle of the screen. The patient is prepared for the procedure using standard sterile technique. For educational purposes, we have eliminated the sterile draping to provide the viewer with orientation to the patient's head and shoulders. After the skin surface is prepared, ultrasound gel is placed at the supraclavicular area on the neck. After the transducer has been sheathed, it is placed across the neck in a transverse orientation at the supraclavicular level. Locate the trunks of the brachial plexus lateral to the subclavian artery. On further cephalad movement of the transducer, the neural structures change to a string of beads between the scalenus antigus and scalenus medius. Move the ultrasound transducer laterally or medially so the neural structures are positioned in the center of the screen. A 22 gauge, 50 millimeter short bevel needle is inserted in plane from the lateral side of the transducer. Ensure that the needle tip is visualized at all times. If the needle tip goes out of plane, adjust the transducer with vertical, rotational, or lateral movement. The needle should be visualized as it traverses the scalenus medius to enter the interscalene groove. The needle is connected to local anesthetic of your choice and a nerve stimulator which is set to deliver 0.6 milliamps of current at 2 Hz frequency. On contacting the most superficial neural structure, one can see the deltoid and or biceps muscle contractions. The nerve stimulator is stopped and one can see the needle-nerve interaction as the needle tip is moved slightly back and forth. At this point, one mil of local anesthetic is injected. This should cause no pain and there should be no resistance to injection. The anesthetic will appear as a dark or hypoechoic pool next to the nerve root. Additional 15 to 30 mils of local anesthetic are injected in 5 mil aliquots. One will see the two scalene muscles separate as the local anesthetic fills the interscalene area. The nerves will appear hyperechoic or bright in the dark pool of anesthetic. This appearance has been described as a cluster of grapes or bright echoes in the dark hypoechoic pool of anesthetic. When the anesthetic has been delivered and surrounds the nerve, the needle is removed.